In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to solve problems when you have a variable for an exponent. You usually see this with formulas, where you will put in the value for the variable exponent. When solving equations, it is helpful to follow these four steps. Step 1. Identify the equation or formula to be used. Step 2. Identify the different variables and any known values from the question. Step 3. Replace variables in the equation with any known values. Step 4. Solve. Let's start with a simple example. You are given the equation y equals 2 to the power of x. Solve for y when x equals 3. Let's work our way through the steps. Step 1. Identify the equation or formula to be used. From the question, we have the equation y equals 2 to the power of x. Step 2. Identify the different variables and any known values from the question. There are two variables in the question, y and x. We also see that x equals 3 from the question. Step 3. Replace variables in the equation with any known values. Now we know that x equals 3, so we can replace the x in our equation with 3. Step 4. Solve. Finally, we can solve for y and get y equals 8. Let's take a look at a more involved question. You are working with a bacteria culture whose growth rate can be modeled by the equation y equals ab to the power of x. a represents the initial value, b represents the growth rate, x represents the length of time, and y represents the final amount. After 12 weeks, there are 14,500 bacteria in the culture. How many did the culture start with if the growth rate is 1.23? Step 1. Identify the equation or formula to be used. From the question, we have y equals ab to the power of x. Step 2. Identify the different variables and any known values from the question. We have y, the final amount, which from the question we see is 14,500. We have A, the initial amount, which we're solving for. We have B, the growth rate, which is 1.23. X, which is time passed, which is 12. Step three, replace the variables in the equation with any known values. Now, we can replace the variables in the equation by the values we know. So now we have 14,500 equals a times 1.23 to the power of 12. Step 4. Solve. When solving for a, answer both in exponent form and simplified form. In this lesson, you learned that there are four steps to help when solving word problems. You also learned that to solve a problem with a variable for an exponent, you replace the variable with a value provided from the question.